السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته مرحبا بكم أعزائي طلاب مدارس المناهج الأهلية الصف الخامس الابتدائي في درس جديد من دروس التعلم عن بعد في مادة اللغة الإنجليزية Hello my dear students I hope that you are all fine and welcome to your English session Hello my dear students How are you all? I hope that you are all fine. Today, we have a new lesson in Unit 12. Yes, the listening lesson. And today, we are going to complete our story, Diamond Quests. But today, we are going to study Part 3. And I want you now to remember what happened in Part 1 and Part 2. Yes, who can tell me? Yes, I want you to think about part one and part two and tell me some points what happened. Yeah, the first one, yeah, King Olaf, yes, he had a big castle and he has his son Prince Karim, yes, good, and there was, yes, Prince Torgan in another castle he wanted to be a king yes and then what happened who can tell me yeah of course yes when the king died king olaf died he left a big diamond for his son and prince Turgon wanted and he stole this diamond in order to be a king Okay, and today we are going to complete our story. We are in part number three. Let's go to the book. Okay, and I want you now to have a look at this page, page 127. Yes, look carefully. Yeah want you to look at these pictures that we have here this one here the first one what the last one at night the three friends yes went to take some rest in order to think of what can they do in order to return the diamond back to their friend prince karim and here what do you think about this one? Who is this? Yes, Prince Turgon and his what? Yes, his monkey. And here, what are they going to do? Yes, I want you to think. Yeah, here we have the diamond in this bag. What do you think the monkey is going to do with it? Okay, and here, I want you to look at the rest of the pictures. Yeah, here, we have one of our friends. Yes, he dived in the water in order to bring it back. Mm-hmm, but here we have a lot of things. I think this is a cave, and we have here a treasure, a lot of golds and jewels here. That's it, he's going out of the cave and finally they return back here to the king, to the prince, Prince Karim and here we have such as a festival or a ceremony, he has the diamonds. So I want you now to listen carefully and focus on these things. Are you ready? Let's start, my dear students. Listen and look at the pictures and read these titles or read these sentences during listening and expect any question during the listening. Track 26, Pupils Book, Unit 12, page 127, Activity 2. Look, listen, and read. Diamond Quest, Part 3 Do you remember? 
Prince Torgan stole the great diamond of Zerula from Prince Karim's castle. Without the diamond, Prince Karim could not become king. Adil, Silas and Banto travelled to Prince Torgan's castle. They climbed the tower and looked through the window. They saw Prince Torgan and he was holding the diamond. They climbed down the tower, went back into the forest and slept. Oh, what was that? What's that terrible noise? It's Prince Torgan. He's hunting. The three friends jumped. So, is Prince Torgan is hunting, and then on their horses. Quick, quick, after them! They raced through the forest. In front of them, they saw the monkey on his little pony. Suddenly, the pony fell down, and the monkey <laughs> fell off its back. The monkey was swinging away through the trees. Okay. The next part. There were fewer trees in this part of the forest, so it was easy for the three friends to follow the monkey on their horses. There he goes! After him! Quick! Quick! Suddenly, there were no more trees, and the three friends found themselves on a high rock above a lake. The monkey was standing on the edge of the rock. The bag with the diamond was in his hand. What's he doing? Yes, what is the monkey doing right now? Concentrate, my dear friends, my dear students. Don't drop the bag! <laughs> no! So, here we are. Yes, in the spot. They asked him not to drop the bag. The next spot, listen. The bag dropped from the monkey's hand and dropped down, down, down into the water below. Immediately, Adil dived off the high rock. Adil, be careful! No! Down he went into the icy water of the lake. Adil was a good swimmer. He swam with his eyes open, looking for the bag. And he found it. Adil came up out of the water. Where was he? <gasps> oh, I'm in a cave! Yes, Adil was in a big, dark, gloomy cave. A little sunlight was coming in from the roof, yeah. and the light fell on something. Something shiny and bright. What's this? Is it treasure? King Olaf's gold. So? King Olaf's jewels. King Olaf. Yes. What did Adele find? Yes, he found a treasure. Okay. Crowns. Well, well, well. Prince Torgan didn't just take the diamond. He took a lot more. There were steps in the rock in the side of the cave. Adil ran up them quickly. Suddenly, Adil was on the high rock above the lake, and there was Silas and Banto. They were very pleased to see him. There you are! We were so worried about you! Look! I've got the diamond! And there's a cave down there full of treasure! King Olaf's treasure! The next day, Adil, Silas and Banto arrived back at the White Castle. Prince Karim was waving to them from the balcony. Welcome home! Welcome home! We've got the diamond! And treasure, too! A few days later, Prince Karim became King Karim of Zerula. The happy crowds clapped and cheered. But there was one person who was not happy. In his dark castle far away, Prince Torgan was thinking and planning. I'll get my revenge. Just wait and see.
Yes, my dear students. Very good. <laughs> yes. Now, let's answer this question together. Are you ready? Yeah. Here we have some questions with their answer. Yes. The first one here. Yeah. What was the prince doing early in the morning? Yes. He was hunting. That's it. Number two. Did the friends need to get into the castle? Yeah, do you remember? Actually, no, because the monkey was carrying the diamond in the small bag with him. Okay, next one. What did it do then? Yeah, the monkey swung through the trees. Where did the monkey go? The monkey went into a high rock. What was it holding? Yes, the monkey was holding the diamond in a bag. The next question. What did Adele do? He dived into the lake, the icy water. What did it do with the diamond? Yeah, the monkey dropped it into the lake. Mm -hmm. And then, did he find the bag with the diamonds? Yes, actually, Adele found it. Yeah, where was Adele when he came out of the water? He found himself in a cave, in a small cave with no light except small light came from the sky to him. What was in the cave? There was a treasure for King Olaf. Yes, who had stolen this one? Actually, Prince Torgan had stolen this treasure. Yes, the friends took the treasure and returned it back to Prince Karim. And here, why is Prince Turgon not happy at the end of the story? Because he has lost the treasure and the diamonds and he is not the king. Now, my dear students, my advice to you is to stay home and save your life. Okay, we have reached to the end of our today's session. If you have any question, don't hesitate to send it to me. And as we have done in the first part and the second part, now I want you to send me a recording audio telling me the summary of the whole story, part 1, 2 and 3. Okay? I will be waiting for your recordings. وبهذا أعزائي طلاب مدارس المناهج الأهلية نكون قد وصلنا إلى نهاية درس اليوم. نسعد باستقبال أسئلتكم واستفساراتكم عبر القنوات الرسمية لمدارس المناهج الأهلية في جروبات الواتساب والتليجرام تعليمنا مستمر بهمتكم دمتم جميعا بخير